From here, this will show you all of the staff that you have access to. There are a couple things that are very important to watch. Um, if you have hourly only employees, um, your payroll policy duration should always be set to number one. It says full-time hourly. It's totally fine if you also have part-time people. Um, just having what that does is create the date bucket for you to look at for the pay period. Um, so that if you're, if you're looking at hourly staff, it always needs to be set at number one. And then you just want to check your dates over here to the left and make sure that it is the pay period that has just ended. Um, that those two need to match in order for the system to align and show you the proper dates for the staff that you're looking at. If you have salary employees, you want to use the drop down, select the salary, which is number three. And you'll notice that the payroll dates on the left have changed. You'll also want to make sure that those dates align with the current pay period that you are attempting um, to do in order to see your staff correctly.